recording Tim Pointer for Maria Espinosa. I'm going to ask you a few questions about Berryville. Number one, what was Berryville like when you were in high school? A smaller town. Population was probably 2,000 to 2,300 less. Uh, a lot fewer businesses in town. Um, not much for the kids to do. Um, same idea of a small town atmosphere, the closeness of the communities, um, not a lot different, but just a lot smaller, basically. Okay. And do you think the high school has changed over the years? The high school's grown mm-hmm. extremely. Um, I would say probably it's twice as big as it was when I was in school. There was one main building, um, the band building was about 50 feet by 50 feet, and now they have the uh, beautiful facility that they have now for the band. The stadium's in the same place, but of course, it's all been redone with a new press box and everything, and we have the arena, which we didn't have back then, so it's changed a lot. It's really improved. Do you like living here in Berryville? I moved away three times, once to California, once to Kansas City, once to Florida, uh, but I always knew that when I was going to settle down and start a family, it would be unbearable. Yes, I like it a lot. Okay. What kind of car did you have in high school? I drove a 1978 Mazda GLC, which was called a great little car. What was the clothing like when you were in high school? Most of the kids wore jeans and t-shirts or jeans and Oxford button-downs. Uh, all the sports guys and girls wore their jackets, their sports jackets. Um, I wore, my junior and senior year, I wore slacks and, and dressier clothes because I had a job right after school that I had to go to that required me to wear a little bit nicer clothing. What did your parents and their friends their age wear around town? Uh, my mom and dad were farmers, so they wore, dad wore overalls most of the time. Mom wore jeans and white cotton shirts usually, uh, work clothes for the farm. Uh, around town, I would say the style was uh, mostly dress clothes for most of the adults around town. Can you tell me some changes in the yearbook from then to now? Lots of color. We, I was on the annual staff in 1979. I was the annual staff photographer, and I would say probably 90% of the book was black and white. Matter of fact, the only color photos I believe that we had were the senior pictures. Uh, It's a lot more broadened as well. There are a lot more areas that involve the students. There's a lot of uh, uh, questions being asked to the students. Uh, A lot more fun things in the annual now. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.